Soviet doping, insider, first-hand information, witness protection, heart attacking people, this book has it all. Were you the mastermind that cheated the Olympics? Yes. I was helping to facilitate one of the most elaborate doping ploys in a sport history. So this week's book is The Rajinkov Affair by Dr. Grigory Rajinkov. You probably know him from Icarus, the Netflix film by Brian Fogel. If you haven't seen Icarus, it's one of the best things on Netflix in relation to sports. If you were watching us, I can probably say with a pretty strong chance of certainty that you would love that film. So if you haven't seen it, go watch it. So the reason, that's, this is the whole reason I kind of picked this book, The Rachenkov Affair, is because, I'll be honest with you, Gregory Rachenkov seems like someone who is a lot of fun. He seems like a compelling character. So morals with doping aside, Dr. Gregory Rachenkov just seems like a funny dude. He seems like someone who would be fun to hang around with. So this is kind of the reasons why, one of the reasons I wanted to listen to his essentially life story. So this is this book is basically an autobiography from basically his late teens right up until essentially now or when the book was finished so you probably have heard me mentioned before in these book reviews you watched them that i'm not really a huge fan of autobiographies and in particular sports autobiographies are one of my least favorite kind of books to read as often as not they're just not interesting not compelling and stories of people's athletic careers can sometimes be very interesting but most often it's not that not that interesting however when we get to dr gregory rashenkov's story it is an absolute roller coaster in certain parts of it so if you don't know who he is go watch icarus first before you continue on this because i don't want to ruin it for you if you haven't seen icarus so just pause it here go watch it just drop work if you're working at home you can watch it anyway guys we all know that's true so Anyone who's seen Icarus from, you'll have known that Gregory, Dr. Gregory Rachenkov essentially became a whistleblower via kind of forced means, but also his association with Brian Fogel, and then he went into witness protection. What we did know about was essentially all of that history be behind that interview and when he's working with Brian Fogel in Icarus. So that story he mentions a little bit about in Icarus about when he was thrown in a mental asylum or a hospital for mental health. But we weren't really given much context behind that and the detail was kind of hazy. But holy shit, the whole story is so fucking interesting. So Dr. Gregory Shinkoff is a man who essentially masterminded at the peak of his career. Yeah, it's, it was what it was his career and it's a pretty cool career, let's be honest. As someone who's done um coming from a science side of things. It's it's a cool career. That'll be a very cool thing to do at work. But at the peak of was essentially doping Russian athletes at the Sochi Olympics. There's so much to his story and I don't want to ruin a lot of it. It's it's well worth listening to it, but it goes through the fall of the Soviet Union, what it was like working then, his experiences as an athlete by himself. And then he talks through dealing with WADA, how they kind of pushed him off and fobbed him off. It actually touches as well, the characters appear, appear Yulia Stepanov, Stepanov, appear in the book as well, just very, very shortly. Their names are mentioned, but it's funny to see the overlay of those. It's it's such a good story. It's very compelling and I think you'll find it. If you are interested in sports, sports doping, the Olympics, if that stuff is a compelling nature to you, I can almost guarantee you'll love this. So some of the anecdotes in the book are absolutely phenomenal. If any of you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen one I posted a couple of weeks ago when I was listening to this about the Russian, I think it was a hammer thrower, who sample who was taking so much Sinazolol, our uh, trade name Winstrol, that he actually left traces. He over, he basically dirty the system so much that they were using that they were getting kind of ghost positives on the following samples up to 10 samples after i think so any of you work in the lab you'll know the absolute mind-numbing hassle it is to clean a system but the fact that someone had so much denazolol in their blood mean that they were leaving like excess residue on the system is so fucking funny and if he ever wants to come to Sikistan, he can no problem and if dr gregory jenkoff ever needs you know to be a new citizenship and he wants to leave america Sikistan, no problem so essentially there's another anecdote as well it's very funny so uh, you'll see in the system that he kind of goes through in the book when he's talking about how they made sure that the athletes who weren't supposed to get caught weren't getting caught so obviously some athletes were sacrificed and there was actual some anti-doping well there was testing going on and incidentally at one point when he was being observed by wada observers a very famous and very successful wrestler who just won the world championships tested positive. Gregory mentions that the heads of the wrestling association are not 
to be fucked with. They are dangerous people and they'll be sold to make it disappear. So it's very funny. There is so many anecdotes like that in the book which are just so funny to listen to. In retrospect, it is it, it is very, very funny. I think what makes this story overall though, so obviously those stories are very cool and interesting to listen to. If you listen to our new podcast with Broderick, they're similar kind of stories or similar veins from a kind of a different angle, but similar, similar template. However, Gregory's story takes a pretty dark turn and that's what kind of makes it so fucking compelling like so it's you know, it's a really harsh story in some parts with what happens to him you know we hear, we hear people trying around the world or well in times you see a lot of news or people trying to facebook posts when they really really have no concept of what an orwellian state would look like whereas gregory talks about it his friends when he leaves him Amer- leaves for america are getting heart attacked as he says people who are known to be whistleblowers who one of them was actually going writing a book with david walsh the the irish journalist and then he had a manuscript but he he was keeping it on file and then he died several days later after some of this stuff came to light it gets very very serious in some parts of it i think the most interesting stuff because i don't want to ruin too much of the story because i really want you to listen to it because it is very compelling but some of the stuff in the story i think the most kind of not interesting thing about the story but one of the most notable points is you'll see that it wasn't a one cohesive state sponsored doping program so it was sanctioned by the state but rather what i'm talking about is the organization of the whole doping program was in some some regards quite individual and the athletes often did their own stuff and often to the detriment of their own samples and not with greg Rankoff's advice or with his expertise so there's a lot of different factions like that wrestling faction, other athletes doing their own things, different coaches thinking they know better than Rechenkov, for example. So it's very, very interesting to see how it is not one big cohesive system from top down. But as usual, politics, there's a load of different factions and these are all kind of interplaying. So I cannot recommend this book. I listened to it on Audible. Um, it's not read by Gregory Rechenkov. He's just, English seems quite good, but it probably would make for a great book if you read the whole thing. The actor who plays him, it's a little bit bland initially, but you do actually get used to him. You get used to him in the story. So highly recommend this book if you like. If you like the Russian affair, if the one you listened to previously, if I, when I recommended it, then I can this one absolutely without a shadow of a doubt is a great book to listen to. Related to the topics we talk on the channel, there is a man, Rachenkov, who I would happily have a pint with, because I feel like he would like a pint or a drink, um, and obviously I'd like to get a lot of stories from him. So. Thanks for listening. And if anyone has Greg Stoff's number and he needs a new passport to a new country, Sikistan will not ask any questions. Sayus,